Hello my web viewers, starting another video here on the channel, and we're going to talk about Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll. Her soundtrack was part of many people's lives, and that's why we're going to pay a simple tribute to the singer who passed away in the year 2023. Her name was Anna Mae Bullock, born in Brownsville, November 26, 1939, and died in Kusnacht, the 24th of November, May 2023, was an American-born Swiss singer. Widely referred to as the queen of rock and roll, she rose to prominence as the lead singer of the duo Ike and Amp, Tina Turner Review, before launching a successful career as a solo artist. Turner renounced her US citizenship in 2013 and lived in Switzerland from 1995 until her death in 2023. Turner began her career with Ike Turner's Kings of Rhythm in 1957. Under the name Little Anne, she appeared on her first record, Box Top, in 1958. In 1960, she was introduced as Tina Turner with the duet single, A Fool in Love. The duo Ike and Amp Tina Turner became one of the most formidable live acts in history. They released hits such as It's Gonna Work Out Fine, River Deep, Mountain High, Proud Mary, and Nutbush City Limits before breaking up in 1976. In the 1980s, Turner had one of the biggest returns of music history. Her multi-platinum 1984 album, Private Dancer, contained the hit, What's Love Got To Do With It? Which won the Grammy for Record of the Year and became her first and only number one on the Billboard Hot 100. At age 44, she was the oldest female solo artist to top the Hot 100. Her chart success continued with Better Be Good To Me, Private Dancer, we Don't Need Another Hero, Thunderdome, Typical Male, The Best, I Don't Want to Fight, and Golden Eye. In 1988, her name entered the Guinness Book, the Book of Records, as the show with the largest number of paying audiences ever performed by a solo singer. The artist brought together 182,000 people at Maracana in Rio de Janeiro to see her performance which was broadcast around the world. At this time, she was on the Break Every Rule World Tour. Turner also starred in the films Tommy, 1975, Mad Max, Beyond Thunderdome, 1985, and Last Action Hero, 1993. In 1993, What's Love Got To Do With It? a biographical film adapted from her autobiography, I, Tina, My Life Story, was released. In 2009, Turner retired after completing her Tina, 50th anniversary tour, having sold more than 100 million records worldwide and being the first person, and for now only, to have at least one hit in the UK Top 40 in seven consecutive decades, 1960s to 2020. Turner was one of the best-selling artists of all time, having received 12 Grammy Awards, which include eight competitive awards, three Grammy Hall of Fame awards, and a Grammy Lifetime Contribution Award. She was the first black artist and first woman to appear on the cover of Rolling Stone, which ranked her among the 100 greatest artists of all time and the 100 greatest singers of all time. With a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and another on the St. Louis Walk of Fame, Tina was twice inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Ike Turner in 1991 and as a solo artist in 2021. Tina Turner has passed away on May 24, 2023, at 83 years of age. During her career, Tina began recording as a solo artist. In 1974, she released her first solo album, Tina Turns The Country On. 
The album is primarily comprised of covers by various country and folk artists, including Chris Christopherson, Bob Dylan, Olivia Newton-John, James Taylor, and Dolly Parton. The album earned Tina a Grammy nomination for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. Her second album, Acid Queen, released in 1975, came along with the success of her character in the film Tommy. Her third album, Rough, was released in 1978. This year, already divorced and working entirely as a solo singer, the release of this album marked Turner's creative freedom, which was finally able to be as she wanted on stage. In addition to writing her songs, she re-recorded hits for music names. She re-recorded hits for music names such as Elton John and Ray Charles, but the album was a commercial failure. Thus, his fourth studio album, Love Explosion, was released the following year. But this also failed to achieve the expected success, with only one single released, Backstabbers. Love Explosion included a brief detour into disco music, but failed to chart. So United Artists Records and Turner parted ways. Lacking a successful album, she continued to perform and headlined her second tour, Wild Lady of Rock and Roll. In 1979, Roger Davies agreed to manage Turner's career after seeing her perform at the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco. During the spring of 1979, Turner worked in Italy as a regular performer on the TV series Rita One Luna Park, hosted by Pippo Baudo and Heather Parisi. Later that year, Turner embarked on a five-week tour of South Africa during the apartheid regime. She later regretted the decision, stating that she was naive about politics in South Africa at the time. In October 1981, Rod Stewart attended her concert at the Ritz in New York and invited her to perform Hot Legs with him on Saturday Night Live. In November, Turner opened for the Rolling Stones during their 1981 American tour. Turner's recording of The Temptations' Ball of Confusion for the UK production team BEF became a hit in European dance clubs in 1982. She filmed a music video for Ball of Confusion, which aired on the then new music video channel MTV. This made her one of the first African-American artists to earn airtime on the channel. Tina revealed in her 2018 memoir, My Love Story, that she suffered life-threatening illnesses. In 2013, three weeks after her wedding to Erwin Bach, she suffered a stroke and had to learn to walk again. In 2016, she was diagnosed with intestinal cancer. Tina opted for homeopathic remedies to treat her high blood pressure, which resulted in kidney damage and eventual kidney failure. Her chances of receiving a kidney were low and she was urged to start dialysis. She considered assisted suicide and signed up to be a member of EXIT, but Bach offered to donate a kidney for her transplant. Turner underwent kidney transplant surgery on April 7, 2017. Tina Turner died at the age of 83 at her home in Switzerland. The death was confirmed by an advisor, but at first the cause was not revealed. It was only disclosed that she died after a long illness. The following day, a spokesperson for the singer revealed to the British newspaper Daily Mail that Tina died of natural causes.